Tony Knowles says, you're not the best snooker player ever. So do you think yeah. you are? No. And if you don't, who do you think? No, he was right. He was right. Really? Yeah, yeah. John Higgins for me is the greatest snooker. I'd, listen, it's very hard for me because growing up, Hendry was my hero. Davis was my hero. But Hendry kind of, you couldn't ignore what Hendry done in the sport. So he kind of become my new hero. And I went, you know what? He is the king of snooker. And if I didn't have that admiration for Hendry, because I was a kid looking up to Hendry. I was 14, he was 21, he was world champion. I was like, this is, this, he's who I want to be. Me and John Higgins were the same age. But if John Higgins was seven years older than me, I probably would have said John Higgins is the greatest snooker player I've ever seen. Because he, like I said earlier in the interview, he's the most complete player. If he was going to build a snooker player, John Higgins would be what you would build. You'd go, you know what, he's going to last the test of time he's definitely going to win the world championship he's definitely going to be number one he's definitely going to when he's on he's unplayable you know it's like if you was a betting man bet on John Higgins for the rest of your life because you'd be a very wealthy man you just you just you, but if you start to bet on Ronnie you know it could go good it might not go good it's a bit of a risk like you'll have a few sleepless nights you don't get that with John Higgins so when Tony Noll said that and Graham Dot, Dot said that as well I was like, yeah, I totally agree with you. <laughs> I can't, I can't not, you know. But what I've kind of managed to do, and I, and I thank John Higgins because he's inspired me to be a better player. I looked at him and thought, I'm never going to be as good a safety player, but I kind of need to get, I need to try and improve in my safety. To you know, if he's at ten, if I can get to eight, that's that's enough. Whereas before I was at two or three, I need to get that up to eight. You know what I mean? And uh, he's inspired me to become a better player. Um, to become a different player, to become a better match player. But yeah, I totally agree. John Higgins is um, probably the best player that I've ever that I've ever played. But it's hard because obviously Hendry's my hero, and I've took some good ideas off of Hendry. But I was early in my career then, and Hendry was in his peak. Whereas John Higgins, we've kind of we're both the same age, so we kind of like you can't I can't. No one had an advantage because we were both. It's like, it's like a Formula One car, the two Mercedes going head to head. You know, there was no, no one had an advantage. We, were, you know, we both come up in the same era, and um, yeah, for me, he's the most complete player I've ever seen. Mm. Great. Mm. Right. And I don't feel bad about saying that. You know, no. maybe I couldn't have admitted that 15 years ago, 20 years ago, because like you say, that would have been a weakness. That would have been yeah. like probably that's not the sort of thing I'd want John Higgins to have known when he was 21, 22, because he would have probably yeah. gained strength from it. But now I'm 45, and I don't really care. I can sit down at a table and go, you know what, John, you actually were a better player than me. Yeah. I know I've got more tournaments and one whatever, but I just think that's just through, I don't know what it was through. Maybe I was just, maybe I'm a better player than I, than I give myself credit for. I don't know. Um, and maybe my style of play, I could beat certain players a lot easier than John Higgins' style of play. You know, like I'm, I'm a bit like, I'm either on or I'm off. I either blow people away or I get blown away. So I think, yeah, I, don't, I, I can't quite work out why he hasn't won more than me, but you know, we, we've both done pretty well. Yeah, I bet if you ask some of them who's the greatest player that's ever lived, they'd say you. Yeah, I mean, like if you said, like, you know, John Higgins, yeah, he'd probably say, you know, me, um, you know, uh, Hendry, maybe, you know, a lot of people say maybe it's Selby. Uh, I, don't, I don't really know, but yeah, I think a lot of the, I think a lot of the snooker fans that don't really, they don't really know the intricacies of the game would probably all say me. But then if you get people that really know the game, they would probably either say me, Hendry or Higgins. Us three would be the three that they would kind of, you know, if you had like 100 people, you'd probably get 30 say Ronnie, 30 say Higgins and 30 say Hendry and yeah. whatever, you know. Um, so yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe a lot, a lot of the snooker fans kind of like because of my style and like I said the way I do it and they just go oh, I love the way Ronnie plays and they all want to play like me they're all like the rocket and this and that <laughs> and uh, so I kind of get I'll get that vote if you like but um, but if you just break it down into pure skill tenacity temperament you know I'd say Higgins and Hendry have got a much better temperament than me um, I've just managed to sort of um, I think it's my, my, my Italian sort of passion that has kind of drove me through and I've played I've played from emotion. Most of the time I play from emotion, whereas John and Hendry, they're like tough Scotch people. They they're, they're unbreakable. Yeah. You know, whereas me I fall apart, but then I 
build myself back up and I fall apart and I build myself up and everyone's like, oh, has he done that one week? And then he looks all right this week, yeah. you know. So, but you know, I think I think that's what kind of draws people to, to to give me the nod, if you like, of being the best player that's ever played, I suppose. If you enjoyed this, if you want more, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell, and remember, if you don't risk anything, you risk everything.